Hi folks, Swiss Bohemian here. It has been a long time since my last manga haul video. I want to show you some of the manga I got from my last manga haul where I went to France with my motorcycle. But I also want to show you in general manga I got in French in the past three months. But I also have a little bit of manga in English and uh, very few in Japanese. So stick with me. The manga I got in Japanese, there are only two volumes from the same series. It's called Kyo Kara Osana Najimi. Starting from today on, we are childhood friends. This is a lovely, sweet rom-com about two middle schoolers who are neighbors, physical neighbors, and also neighbors at school, desk neighbors. Now the girl, she had always to move many places when she was young. She never had any childhood friends, so she decides to have one. And she asks the boy, could we please be childhood friends? It's very sweet and also funny because her ideas of being childhood friends is very cliche. She has all these ideas from anime and manga. For example, childhood friends, they go to school hand in hand, don't they? Or when you oversleep, your childhood friend should like wake you up, whispering in your ear, please wake up, you're late. Stuff like that, it's very sweet. He does like interpret her moves like a little bit like romantic moves. She doesn't even realize it because like I said, she has all her ideas from anime and manga. So it's a very sweet and the drawings are quite sweet. So this is a brand new manga. It just started last year and I will probably continue to read this one. To the manga I got in English, I got from a good friend of mine the first two volumes of uh, Welcome to the NHK. This one is a classic, it also became an anime. And I already have all the volumes of Welcome to the NHK in uh, Japanese. I was told that these volumes are already quite rare in English. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if that's true or not. If you don't know Welcome to the NHK, this is like a very funny, very darkish uh, kind of uh, bitting humor so it's a it's a satire and uh, I love it it's still great after 15 years and I got recently my lovey dovey wife is a stone cold killer this one here I got it because I've read uh, some chapters online as a scanlation and I remember I liked it and I have now reread the first volume in English I was a little bit disappointed I don't know what it is I think it might be the drawings or just that it nothing really happens like the title suggests it's the story about the salary man and his wife is a killer and they are already in love and so on so it's like their daily lives as a newlywed couple and it's quite sweet it's also funny because well she's a killer sometimes she has to go to work to kill some people then I got boy meets Maria this one is a slice of life boys love manga. It's a one shot about a boy who falls in love with a girl who is actually not a girl but a boy but who was traumatized as a boy or was traumatized as a girl in his or her childhood. It's complicated but it was uh, a nice read and the drawings were quite good. It's by an artist called Peo. Unfortunately this artist passed away recently and has just done like I think two manga and some uh, short stories. That's I think her last manga. Then I got the fourth volume of When Will Ayumu Make His Move. I just love manga by Soichiro Yamamoto and this one is not an exception. And it's a really great rom-com. Haven't read this one yet in English because I already have the Japanese volumes up there somewhere and I realized I don't have volume two and three in English. I just have volume one here. Then I got a really great deal in Switzerland with the next manga, Sweetness and Lighting. And this is Slice of Life cooking manga. I heard really great things about this manga. And so I got a good deal for all 12 volumes. So I got now this series uh, in full, complete. Yeah, I realized I have a one manga by this author in Japanese. So I haven't read it yet, but I think it will be good. Uh, if you know this manga, let me know in the comments down below. Just let me show you some of the volume covers. They look quite good.
I love these covers, they are so sweet. And the last one. The remaining manga I have are all in French, but you might know some of these manga because they also got an English release. I got uh, the one shot Look Back by Tatsuki Fujimoto, the author of Chainsaw Man. And I heard good things about this one shot. I got it, I read it through and yeah, it's quite good. It's quite dramatic, I don't want to spoil anything, but it has something to do with becoming a mangaka, a manga artist. Look back is also a play on words because uh, you see the back of the person on the cover, but also inside of the story, you see many times the artist from behind working on her desk. And look back, of course, means also looking back in the story. So it's a story about the past. I don't know if this is like uh, inspired by real life events because it's quite dramatic. It has also elements of like a fantastic. I like that one. It's quite good. You should get it if you haven't uh, got it yet. You should read it, of course, if you haven't read it yet. Then I got volumes three, four, five, six of, well, in French it's called My Sexy Cosplay Doll, which is like a really stupid title. Of course, this is My Dress Up Darling. It's called, I think in English, the official title. I got volumes one and two last year already. I quite like this manga. It's like a Swedish cosplay rom-com story. The heroine, she's just great. The male guy is could be a bit more manly sometimes, I wish. But yeah, the drawings are good. The story is good. It's a character-driven story. It's good so far. The anime was great as well. Then I got volume two and three of Le Grimoire Écarlate. And I don't know what the English title is of this one. Akano Grimoire. So Red Grimoire. I read the first volume like two, three weeks ago. And to be honest with you, I just forgot the content. I remember I liked the drawings and there is also like this small card inside small gimmick bonus and I also like for example what is written in the back stands out a little bit when you touch it so these small touches make a manga in my eyes just a bit more worthful to collect then I got the first two volumes of Oshinoko this is a kind of strange mix. It's a mix of like an overdramatic story and a comedy and it's a bit about an idol and I don't want to spoil it. This one got a very good reputation lately. I'm not quite convinced yet, to be honest with you. It has something to do with reincarnation. Aka Akasaka, I think Aka Akasaka is the author of um, Kaguya-sama, from the comedy Kaguya-sama, and Mengo Yokoyari, she did Scum Swish. I understand why it got so popular online and also offline. I'm not quite convinced yet after having read the first two volumes, but I think you should try it. It has some shocking elements in it. So it's not just the comedy, it also has like quite dramatic uh, moments. Then I got Stranger Case volume one and two. So Stranger Case, it's the French title. Um, the original title is Kyoko Suiri. I totally forgot the title of the anime, but I remember I liked it. It's a kind of like fantasy mystery with this girl here. She had like an encounter as a child with ghosts and she lost her right eye and also her leg. So she walks like with artificial leg. She meets this student who also possesses uh, supernatural abilities and they both team up to like uh, solve some supernatural cases. The first volume of Genesis. This is a kind of survival manga, but not the kind of like cheap thrill survival mangas, but one which is quite scientific. A bunch of students who walk in Australia, they suddenly are in a different world. They basically are back like several hundred thousand of years and they have to survive. The creatures which appear in the manga, they all existed like Mammoth. The author takes time to really explain all the details about these creatures. And so it's a survival manga, but it's a realistic one. And it's not one about where who dies the first and how cruel the death is. It's absolutely not about that. I thought it was quite okay-ish. I was just a bit disappointed about the drawings because I think they're a bit bland. Let me show you some an example. 
So the drawings are more on the realistic side, but they are bland because when action happens, it's not dynamic at all. It's very distant from the action. The details are interesting. The story is interesting. The premise is okay. I got the first three volumes of Time Shadows, which just started as an anime. The anime is called Summertime Render. It's basically a mystery thriller manga. I liked the first volume, it was okay. And also the anime is actually well done. The drawings are quite good. I like the drawing so far. And what I like about the manga so far is the setting. It takes place in Wakayama Prefecture in Japan, which I have been once, I visited once the place. It takes place on a small island. So I think the island life is well shown. It takes place in a small town with only like five or 700 uh, inhabitants. And it has like this summertime feeling. And I like that about the manga so far. Then I got the first volume of uh, Nagatoro, Arrête de me chauffer Nagatoro by Nanashi. I think you all know uh, Nagatoro. I don't have to explain it to you. It also comes like with these small cards here as a bonus. I got this one uh, used, so I only had to pay like five euros. Then I got volume four of Mon Ami de Ténèbres, my friend from the dark depths. Uh, this is a very sweet, again, a very sweet uh, romantic comedy. So basically it's the idea of uh, this girl here, she's like bullied at school because, well, she's like different, I guess. And then there's this new guy here and he's absolutely oblivious of all the bullying happening and he thinks she's cool and he always tells that to all the others. So basically he's completely immune to the bullying and that helps her a lot. Very simple, very stylistic and this is an art style I really like a lot. Speaking of romantic comedies, I got in the past two months uh, the, all the remaining volumes of Teasing Master Takagi-san in French. I already have them in Japanese. I really like this manga. I really like the story. I think it's really strong when it comes to character dynamics. Le Secret des Ecailles Bleus. Now this is a slice of life drama manga and an excellent one. It's the story of an elementary school girl who moves with her father to a seaside town where she has been once with her mother. And she has like this memory of having nearly drowned in the sea and being rescued by a mermaid. So this town has like the legend of the mermaids. This is a quite poetic manga with some really poetic drawings. These are not your typical manga drawings you get usually outside of Japan. And I really like this art style. I don't know how many volumes there are. I think only two or three volumes. I will for sure continue to buy this manga. The author is Yoko Komori. Then I got the first volume of Li Zafami. And this one is a special zombie apocalypse manga. It mixes horror with romance with tragedy the main hero he's a zombie but a special zombie he doesn't need to eat his idea is to catch a man and a woman to make them babies and then to use the babies to feed his poor fellow zombies who are always starving he catches a creepy guy a male otaku a really creepy guy and he catches his former girlfriend now you can imagine this tragedy and so on what happens i don't want to show you too much because i don't want to spoil anything i got the first volume of poison quotidien which translates like um, your daily dose of poison by Minoru Furuya. Now Minoru Furuya, I know this author by his gag comedy Ping Pong. And this one is quite different. This is like a slice of life story of this 
boy here i think he goes to high school and his best friend they both are bullied by another guy and his gang there is this constant bullying and they both try to ignore the bullying and they both share a passion this is motorcycling he starts to take some motorcycling lessons he also meets like another girl and the other girl has an interest in him and so on it's quite realistic and i could imagine that there is a live action movie a drama series uh, of this uh, manga i think there are six volumes in total so this is volume one it just came out recently in french and i liked it so far the drawings are rather realistic they are not like cute or anything let me show you an example it's not that easy to read this manga because the people in the manga very often are like just you know they are just scum very scum and you have to be in a special mood to read a manga like this i got the first two volumes of kiriru kill me i already have the first volume in english if you remember i showed that in another video i got them in french because they were in a special price so these are brand new in french magus of the library and this one i got it because i saw some drawings this is a fantasy manga with extremely detailed drawings i love the drawings haven't read the manga yet haven't read it yet but the drawings alone convinced me i need to get this one i got volumes two and three of peleliu guernica of paradise this is a war manga and a peculiar one because the drawings look cutish somehow you have like these small chibi like figures these soldiers japanese soldiers trying to survive in the second world war in the Philippines or is it Indonesia Malaysia I should reread it again there's a reason that the soldiers are drawn like this it's like to make the content less harsh bloody cruise this is a kind of suspense thriller horror manga it takes place on a cruise ship the drawings look okay so far I got volume 7 and 8 of Eskara Yokohama the drawings get better and better I mean this manga is just absolutely sublime when it comes to the drawings. Volume 3 of De l'autre côté de l'horizon and this is a sweet seinen romance and I realized I already have it. By the way what I like about this volume is shiny cover. It looks almost like it has some rainbow colors. I love this small gimmick. It's like a nice little gimmick for, for collectors like me. I got the first two volumes of Le jour où j'ai décidé d'envahir la terre. The day I decided to invade Earth by Maiko Ogawa. This is a shonen science fiction romance title. Haven't read this one yet as well. I like the drawings. They remind me somehow like of classic good shonen manga. A little bit like uh, what I know from Rumiko Takahashi, for example, but a bit more modern. Then I got volume 6 of Sao Tome Love and Boxing, volume 3 of Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, volume 1 of Arpeggio of Blue Steel, volume 9 of Minuscule. Volume 4 of Kowloon Generic Romance. Well, the story is everything but generic. So this is the new series of the author who made After the Rain. A third volume of Reimp, which stands for Reimpression, Reimpression. Uh, this is a story of a young girl who is working in the manga industry as an editor. The first two volumes of L'Ami de ma fille the friend of my daughter this one came out as a scanlation and i remember this was a real shitstorm people really somehow hated the main heroine and the main hero but they nevertheless read the story right it's one of these kind of manga with like very controversial themes and so on and i like it so far it's okay the drawings are good the drawings are nice so basically it's the story of like a dude in his 40s something he has a daughter he's very estranged from his daughter his daughter doesn't want to go to school she's like in her room all day and uh, her best friend 
she gets to meet the father one day and so on they get in touch and she wants to start a romantic relationship with the father it's very icky somehow but still it's quite interesting to read the first volume of shigahime i uh, haven't read this one yet this looks like it's a horror manga quite extreme one and again, this is a manga where I like the cover. It's like this kind of shiny cover. It has like this metallic shine. Can't tell, right? Like that, it's cool. I got the first volume of Asobi Asobase, which was an anime like three, four years ago. There's also like a small card again. Then I got the first volume of Une Sacré Mami. So this is a kind of re-edition. It contains uh, the first two volumes of the original edition of the French edition. But this is a story of a boy growing up with his grandmother or his aunt, I think, in the 1960s of Hiroshima. I heard just good things about this one. An anthology of uh, Inyo Asano's short stories. I think this is one of a uh, newer anthology of his stories. And finally, I got from the children's country now uh, this seems to be like a zombie apocalypse survival story something it's called here danger beware of adults and uh, haven't read this one yet just the drawings alone convince me that this is quite interesting without the spotting and also this has like this this golden uh, letters like that it's interesting so far I don't know how many volumes there will be. So which of these manga I got do you think are the best ones? Let me know in the comments down below. Now the next video I will shoot it in French because I have like a manga tuber I respect a lot. He really tells me I should shoot my videos in French because I show many manga in French I mean. I will show again the same manga so you will not really miss a lot. But don't worry I will still shoot videos in English. Thank you for sticking until the end of the video and see you next time. Goodbye.